Many schools have already started, but Fairborn City Schools set to head back tomorrow. They say it's been a summer busy with upgrades. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart looking ahead at what changes students can expect. These upgrades stem from a 2015 bond issue passed, and they say they can't wait for students to arrive tomorrow and experience the difference. Fairborn City School Superintendent Jean Lawley says summer of 2017 began a series of capital improvement projects throughout the district, but today marks their school's last day of summer this year, and they accomplished a lot more. Many projects. Uh, we had a very busy summer, particularly at the high school and the junior high. Both are receiving technology upgrades, but the high school seeing a lot of cosmetic updates as well. All new bleachers in the gymnasium, brand new LED and stage lighting in the auditorium. Well, we had the original stage lighting and control panels from 1973. We no longer will have to uh, rent stage lighting equipment. We have a, a really budding drama department and so this is just really going to give them that boost to add a little extra something to their presentations. As well as much needed revamping to their heating and cooling system. Being able to take and control that element so that students can learn um, and not have to worry about freezing or burning up, that's um, huge. Across the district, the new primary school is under construction, currently laying water lines, and Lolly says security camera and other updates will be happening throughout some of the schools as well as the district board office. That's imperative. Uh, unfortunately, that's the age we live in, but uh, we put the safety of all our students and staff first, and um, this is something that's needed here in Fairborn for, for a good while. The security updates are still a work in progress, but they say those should be completed any day now. Reporting in Fairborn, Deborah Bogart, 5 on 2.